When we look at the World Economic Forum Global Risks Report, we see that cyber dependency is the third largest trend in terms of the global development over the next 10 years. And when we think about it, shouldn't it be the first? I think in the past it's been considered that cyber risk has been considered an IT thing, but it seems to be growing beyond just the IT realm and spreading throughout the organization. There used to be this concept of a physical perimeter, right? But basically, your perimeter now exists wherever your employees happen to be with their, with their handhelds or wherever the third-party vendors and suppliers happen to be in whatever country. The mantra that this is not just a server room issue, this is a boardroom issue, has really caught on. Public company directors should not think that they can't grapple with these questions. Public company directors can grapple with these questions and should. And part of that is making the circle bigger. If you have the lawyers in the room, if you have the uh, HR folks in the room, if you have the CFO in the room at the same time, you can tilt that conversation uh, to questions that boards have been answering since time immemorial, which is, who do we have in charge of this problem? What are the assets we're trying to protect? How are we protecting them currently? And what's the end state that we need to get to? A good cybersecurity program begins with identifying exactly what's at risk, and a lot of companies miss that. You have to know what you're protecting before you can protect it. And not only knowing what those assets are, but then doing an assessment of the risk associated with each one of those so that you can put the proper protections in place.